According to ESPN Boxing Insider Mike Coppinger, Devin Haney and Vasil Lomachenko are close to finalizing a super fight for the undisputed championship belts at 135 pounds. The rumored date for the fight is May 20th, and at first the fight was rumored to be taking place at Madison Square Garden, New York City, but it's looking like it's going to take place at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. If this fight gets made, it's looking like 2023 is going to be a very strong year with boxing, with already having some solid matchups. David Benavidez versus Caleb Plant, and now we got Gervonta Davis versus Ryan Garcia. Another big rumor is that Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk are coming close to reaching a deal for their fight. Vasily Lomachenko was last seen in the ring October of 2022 after taking some time off to go assist with the war in Ukraine. Lomachenko outpointed an upcoming prospect in Jermaine Ortiz to win a decision. Before this fight, Jermaine Ortiz had just upset Jamel Herring. I, when I first heard this fight was announced, I thought that this was an opponent that Lomachenko could stop. Jermaine Ortiz put up a better performance than I expected. He was very consistent with his jab, and he was able to last all 12 rounds. Devin Haney was also last seen in the ring October of 2022 when he outpointed George Cambosis for a second time, winning a wide de decision, retaining his undisputed championship belts at 135. With two of the top 135 pounders in Ryan Garcia and Gervonta Davis fighting each other, this seems like the biggest challenge that Devin Haney could be facing in the weight class. This is a very interesting matchup because Devin Haney has been calling out Lomachenko for years. Lomachenko did have some championship belts at 135. He challenged Teofimo Lopez for Undisputed, in which he lost. My early thoughts on this fight, like I guess a little early prediction, is Devin Haney's just too young, too fresh this time around for Vasil Lomachenko. Even with a couple of wins, I still feel like Lomachenko is too small for the 135 weight class, and he's not as dominant as he once was.